Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about prayers, and so far we've discussed a few prayers and some creeds. This time, a prayer to appeal to Mary for help, the Hail Holy Queen. This is where the line starts to blur between prayers and songs. The words of the Hail Holy Queen started in Latin as the song Salva Regina, and are translated almost exactly from that song. I won't be singing this prayer myself, but Marian prayers like this go back hundreds of years in song form. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Mary is a queen in the sense that she is the mother of the king, Jesus. This is what the queen was in the kingdom of David. During the time of Solomon, Bathsheba was the queen and her son Solomon was the king. In the same way, Mary is the holy queen because her son is the king of all holiness. The term mother of mercy seems to have multiple meanings. First, obviously, that Mary is a mother who is also merciful. Secondly, that Jesus, being God, is perfectly merciful, perfect mercy, and Mary is his mother. Both meanings are probably implied here. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Of course our lives come from God, but Mary is responsible for bringing Jesus into the world and allowing us the possibility of eternal life. Mary is the sweetness, not of us as individuals, but of mankind, because of all human beings aside from Jesus, she was the most perfect. Also, Mary was assumed into heaven and dwells there now, having been preserved from sin, and we see a hope in what happened to her to escape our own sins and attain heavenly glory. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. We're descendants of Eve, forced in this life to remain outside of heaven, and we plead to Mary for her help in changing this state of affairs. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. We suffer as long as we live, and plead with Mary for her help in sadness and sighing. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. Gracious, in this case, must mean one who is filled with grace by God. The Holy Spirit, being the bestower of graces, would otherwise have a higher position as advocate. We ask Mary to look upon us mercifully, and show us her mercy. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O merciful, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. We ask Mary to help guide us to heaven, where we can be with Jesus forever, after our exile on earth is complete. In addition to this, there are some words that are often added at the end of this prayer, but these are directed at God rather than Mary, and are only really said at the end of a rosary, another prayer which I'll get to as well. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. We acknowledge that Jesus has paid the price for eternal life for those who accept it. However, we still need to do certain things in order to accept this gift. This also establishes that Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. All other sons of God are created, like when we say that human beings are children of God. We say this because God created us and wants us to share in his riches. This prayer itself is directed at God by these first words. Grant that, we beseech thee, while meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We make a request of God, pleading humbly with him as we think about the rosary and its many mysteries, a subject for a future episode. We may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask God to help us follow the good examples that the mysteries of the rosary show us, such as the strength of Jesus and suffering for the good of others, seen in the scourging at the pillar. We also ask him to allow us to gain the benefits promised in those mysteries, such as in the coronation, where Mary is crowned the Queen of Heaven. We also seek assumption into heaven and the obtaining of a royal inheritance in it. Finally, we acknowledge that all of these things, if they're done, will be done through Jesus, who is our Lord. Next time, some more recent prayers given to mankind during a supernatural event. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.